Hi, in this video we're going to show you how you could fix some common Windows problems using a free app called FixWin11. There's also a FixWin10. So the FixWin10 was made for Windows 10, FixWin11 was made for Windows 11, but you can use the newer FixWin11 on Windows 10. So that's the one I would use if you want to try this out. So once you download the app, it's a zip file, then you just unzip it, and then you'll have a few files in here with the FixWin11 EXE. So nothing to install, so all you need to do is run it. I'll put a link in the description so you can download it yourself. And you, the first time you run it, you might get a warning saying, we don't know what this file is, do you want to trust it? Then you're going to click on more and allow it to run. And then just click on yes. That'll give you an overview of your computer's configuration, uh, you know, version of Windows, your processor, how much RAM you have, username. And the main page has some... Uh, tools here. You could run the system file checker, re-register some uh, store apps, create a restore point, and repair the Windows system image. Now you could also search for more, which will take you to their site. And then there's all the categories down here. So there's File Explorer. So there's just tons of stuff here. I'm obviously not going to go through all of them, but just, uh, you know, if your recycle bin is missing, Explorer doesn't start with Windows, thumbnails not showing, that kind of thing. Internet problems, uh, kind of browse over the list here, you know, obviously that's not going to apply. Maybe it'll apply to Edge, since there's no Internet Explorer in Windows 11. Re repair your windsock if you're having uh, network problems there. The Telnet error, which you commonly get to if you try and run it. System fixes. So if you hover over the, or click on the question mark, it'll tell you what it's going to do. It's what command it's going to run to fix this problem. And then if you run one, like this one's been run, disable OneDrive, and there, now there's a revert button there so that we want to revert and kind of undo the fix. And then this one has two uh, possible fixes. And it tells you what each one is. Then there's system tools. You know, if your registry header has been disabled, then it's going to run this command here. Troubleshooters, so these are the Windows troubleshooters. So let's say you want to, you're having a printer problem, you click on that, it'll just start the Windows troubleshooter. So this is not part of the Fix One program, this is the actual Windows troubleshooter. So it's just a quick way to launch any of these troubleshooters. And then you can download additional troubleshooters. And then finally, there's some additional fixes, like these, and then some quick fixes. If you want to reset some settings here. So there's a lot of stuff here, so you know this might apply to any problem you might be having. And like I said, it's free. You just download it, and you can just leave it on your computer, nothing to install. And then if you're having a problem, you can just run it, see if you can find a fix for it in here, and just take care of it and see what happens. All right, so like I said, I'll put a link in the description. You could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.